to warm up the car much, which was stupid. Now, of course, we all know a diesel has to warm up well. But, as far as I know, we need to warm up our regular vehicles too. Not just for comfort, but to kind of get them puppies going. <laughs> That's as far as I know. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong, because I'd like to know either way. Goodness gracious, I'm frozen. people comment on my last video where I was wearing this fur coat. Um, some people were like, is that real fur? I'm like, yes, it is. I have so many feelings when it comes to um, factory farming, whether it be for fur, meat, any of it. I don't like seeing anything in pain. But I also know I'm at the top of the food chain. My body was made to eat meat. I have the brain power to understand how to kill skin an animal, how to uh, tan its hide and use it to keep me warm. I don't think that's by coincidence that I do. I think that's the grand design of things. Now, I'm no Christian, but I do believe there is a higher power out there, whether you call it God, Allah, Buddha, whatever you call it. I honestly think we all have our own path to the divine. Um, I don't think anybody's really right or wrong, but I do believe that I am at the top of the food chain, and I don't think there's anything wrong with me eating meat, wearing fur, wearing leather. The only problem I have with it is the inhumanity of some of the factory farming practices. Not all, because I have known many farmers. Um, I know a where I used to live, I knew exactly where we sent the beef off to to be slaughtered. I have, 
I know about all that practice. Um, in my opinion, they did it in a very humane way, as humane as killing something can be. Um, but, you know, when you live out in the country, it really helps you realize the circle of life. Everything dies. Everything is used for a purpose. There is birth, there is death. This is just the way life is. Yes, we want to protect the things we love and um, we want, oh shit, I shouldn't have turned here. Too late. Um, we don't want things hurting. Okay. I'm trying to see if this person wants to back up. Um, but it's all the circle of life. Out in the wild, a coyote's not going to think about the way the rabbit feels when it kills it. It's just not. Um, I understand that we are smart beings that have learned different ways to create, um, man-made things to help us survive so we don't have to eat meat as often or you know don't have to do all these things but I don't know everybody has a different opinion on all that me I love a good steak I love a good bloody steak I would much rather buy it from a local farmer and local slaughterhouses that I know are good but Sometimes that is not in people's budgets. Just like, yeah, we would all love to... Shit. Come on, dude. You're pocketing the whole road. Um, yeah, we would all love to eat organic produce. But there are a lot of people out there that ain't got the money for it. You know? We would all love to do the best we can. Or most of us would love to do the best we can. But, geez, sometimes it feels like you got to be rich as hell just to live a gr good way, you know? I don't know. I'm just rambling. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> but I know people, not most of y'all are like, oh, that's a gorgeous fur coat. But some people are like, oh, is that really fur? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> and not on is really fur. It's vintage. So instead of this thing dying and going to waste, I saved it from the damn thrift store. <laughs> and I do think it's funny how some people are like, oh, yeah, um, you know, it'd be nice if everybody had a boyfriend to buy them a mink coat. Number one, I bought this shit and not anyone else bought it for me just like every other thing I have I bought for me I haven't had a man buy me anything in well I haven't even gone on a date in like 10 years okay um and that guy just bought me a damn dinner <laughs> I haven't had a man buy me a present in God knows how long. I don't even know. I have to sit down and calculate it, okay? So, everything, single thing I own, pretty much, other than if it was a family heirloom, I have bought for myself, okay? And then, number two, this ain't me, baby. This is Fox. <laughs> so, get your furs right. It's vintage Fox and wool. And I love it so much. It's from the 1940s. It is amazing. Yes, it's not perfect, but it's fucking almost 100 years old, okay? <laughs> if you were almost 100 years old, you'd have some flaws too. <laughs> but I love this coat. I found it at a thrift store. It was either a thrift store or a vintage store. That's where all my furs are from. I have... I've never bought a fur... Well, actually, let me tell you. I bought these gloves new. But I've never bought, like, a fur coat new before. Um, not that I think anything's wrong with it, but I just love finding them vintage. I think it's freaking fun. I love vintage thrift shopping. Oh, my God. I love it so much. It's so much fun. Um, 
So, I love finding things like this. Find the beautiful things that you're rescuing from them going in the trash and you get to enjoy and love. There's nothing better. <laughs> well, there are better things, but you know what I mean. But these gloves I got new for myself for Christmas this year. They were one of my many presents I bought for myself because I tell you what, I don't have anyone else buying me presents, so I'm gonna buy them for myself. I'm not going to sit around and be, oh, poor pitiful me. Nobody's buying me anything. I'm going to be like, ooh, I'm going to work my ass off and buy things for myself. <laughs> and you should do the same, baby, because you deserve it. You deserve the whole world, and you should do it for yourself. At least that's the way I feel. Took me a long time to get to this way of thinking, too. <laughs> Sunday. I wouldn't be looking at my email if I was her either. So, hoping she answers me back. I always get nervous about this stuff. I'm always like, oh my god, what if she decided she didn't want to work for me? <laughs> and it's like, okay, she applied. She did all this stuff. She, um, you know, came to the interview and aced it. Why all of a sudden she would decide she wouldn't want to work for me? I don't know, but my brain makes up those negative things. It is a lot of work for me to keep myself from having negative self-talk. My brain thinks of anything that could possibly be going wrong. Like, oh no, she looked more into my content, decided she didn't like it. Or even though she already researched me really good because she had lots of good questions. But my brain just thinks of anything possibly that could go wrong. And it's like, oh, oh. <laughs> I have to tell myself no. She wants to work for me. She looks at this as a career. She is excited. I'm excited. Good things are going to happen. I am not going to self-sabotage myself. Because I love myself. I am wonderful. These are things I have to tell myself over and over again. Every day. And I tell you what. If you dislike yourself like I used to. You need to do the same. Self-talk is so important. Because... We say things to ourselves in our head that we would never say to our friends in real life or our family members or anything like that. Shit, we would barely say that stuff to people we hate in real life. I know I'm the worst at telling myself how ugly I am or how bad I am or just all these mean things. Um, not anymore is not as much, but I used to. Oh, I used to tell myself the worst things. I used to be so mean to myself. And then I really started listening to the way I talked to myself and why I acted like that. And I really realized I need to get a handle on that. So I just started saying good things instead of bad. Like if I messed up, say I yelled at somebody or something, I'd say, I'm a good person. I made a mistake by yelling at that person. I should not have acted like that, but I am a good human that makes mistakes. I don't know. That's just an example. But just positive self-talk is really important. Or telling yourself every day, I'm wonderful. I'm beautiful. I love myself. I know it sounds so absolutely silly, but I promise it works. It helps. It's one of the many, many things I have done to improve myself, to love myself. And I think it's something you should do too. Cause it... All right, darling. Hello, hello. We are on our way. So, I went, did an appointment, got that done. 
Now, let's figure out what we're doing next. I've got so many things to get done. I gotta figure out what the next step is here. Sorry, I'm thinking, not talking, but I'm trying to figure out what order I need to get these things done in. but I need to know how you're doing now. <laughs> it is so freaking cold, and I know I've already said that too. I don't just don't know what to say. <laughs> don't know what to say. <clears throat> I love my coat so much. So one thing good about the cold is I get to wear this coat that I found, and I just love it so much. There's a cool guy in a car behind me that has an awesome mustache. I mean, I don't know if he's a cool guy. I just know his mustache looks really cool. I like facial ugh, I like facial hair on a fella if it's done well. Um, I really like it. Like if someone has facial hair and they have it all trimmed nice and looking nice, I really like that. short or long or whatever that doesn't really matter to me and honestly it doesn't matter to me with or without facial hair but if you have facial hair I do like it looking nice you know I take good care of myself so I expect whoever's with me to take good care of themselves to be clean you know I mean of course we're all gonna get dirty working or dirty out in the yard or working on our cars or whatever but good maintenance is what I mean. Clip his damn toenails, <laughs> you know, scrub his balls, do all those things. It is very important. <laughs> At least to me, it's very important. Might not be to anybody else, but to me it is. If I'm going to be licking them body parts, you better bet they better be clean. <laughs> real though some people need some hygiene um, tips like how are you going to leave the house without brushing your teeth how are you going to you know walk around without clipping your nails or your toenails how are you going to do all those things when you're gross and nasty it just ain't right we got to be clean and happy humans. I don't care, honestly, if the fella I'm with likes to wear cologne or doesn't like to wear cologne. That doesn't really bother me. Um, if he wears cologne, I like it just to not wear he's bathed in it, you know. I like it to smell good, but not a crazy amount. Um, but if he doesn't like wearing cologne, okay, that's fine. Just as long as he smells good, he has, you know, smells like soap or whatever, I'm good with that. <laughs> There's so much that I'm, I'm like, okay, whatever you want, baby, you know? Um, so much that doesn't really matter to me one way or the other. But then there's things that are a definite, oh, if it's that way, never mind, like, if you cannot take care of yourself, then it's a oh, never mind. If you cannot wash your own laundry and scrub your own dishes and do all that stuff, then it's a oh, never mind. If you can't keep your house clean, it's a oh, never mind. 
we all work hard enough i get it I work my tail off, so I pay someone a hundred bucks every week to come clean my house. Um, you know, I know not everybody has the money to do that, but you can't tell me that you don't know someone who isn't in need of extra money that you couldn't pay, you know, shucks, 50 bucks to come spend two hours in your house and clean it. Um, or you could do it yourself. It's so important that you know how to dust, vacuum, Windex, do all those things. These are important life skills. And when I am dating someone, by the time they get to the age where they're old enough to date me, they should know how to do those basic things in life, okay? You should know how to wash a load of whites and a load of colors. <laughs> you know, you should know to do these things because when I am in a relationship with someone, it's not me doing these things alone. It's we doing these things. It's me and you. If I'm in a relationship with someone, we are both doing these things. We're both doing the cooking. We're both doing the cleaning. We're both doing the laundry. We're both doing all that. Now, like I said, it, I'm going to be paying somebody to come do the cleaning because I've got other things I need to be taken care of, but, you know, just because I pay somebody to come once a week and clean my house doesn't mean that I don't have to clean it up every single day, that I don't have to put up the clean dishes, wash the dirty dishes, pick up the trash, um, clean up after the dog, you know, there's so much stuff that you have to do every single day in order to keep a good home, and those things are really important to me. Whoever I'm with has to put in the effort to have a good home. Um, now, I'm not a perfectionist. Lord knows y'all have seen my house, okay? You've seen when I was in the middle of doing laundry and had a clothes hanger rack in my kitchen, you know? Because my laundry room's right off my kitchen. You've seen when I've had dirty dishes. You've seen when my counter is completely full of um, stuff, you know, y'all have seen my home where it is not perfect. That's, I don't care about living perfectly. What I care about is, um, what would it be called? It's self-love in a lot of ways, self-care, and just taking care of yourself. Loving yourself in order enough to do the things you need to do to have good care for yourself. And keep your home, body, mind, all that clean. Putting in that effort is so, so very important. So, so very. I know these little scooters are um, street legal, but they're really annoying. The people that ride the scooters around town and go like 20 miles an hour on a 45 mile an hour road. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> Good for them because I'm sure there's some reason they don't have their license and they're getting back and forth to work or whatever. Good for them. But it is pretty damn annoying. <laughs> And man, it smelled like weed crazy back there. Crazy like. That was strong. What do y'all think about me just jabbering on about stuff? you like it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking about what I think and I think some weird shit. <laughs> and I don't know. What do y'all think about it? Do you like just listening to me jabber on? Or are you sick of these videos and you're like, girl, quit driving the car and talking to us. <laughs> what do you think? I want you to tell me. I love your feedback. I love talking to you like that. It's fun. 
and tell me what you think about the date idea because I think it's such a good idea. Such a good idea. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and tell you again because you might not have watched the other video. So a girlfriend of mine had this amazing idea that I take y'all out on a date with me. That we do it live and we go on a date together where um, like we go out to eat, we sit and talk, you ask me all those first date, first date questions. Um, yeah. You pick me up, and we go on a date together. And I think it's such an amazing idea. So you would just be on live with me, and we would talk and have a good time, and I'd tell you all about me and all that. Um, and you know what we could do, though? If the date's really good, then we can stop that live video and moving on over to the paid sites. <laughs> now that sounds like fun to me. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun to me. So we'll do the date and you'll get a happy ending if you want to subscribe to the paid sites. Yes, yes, yes. I think that sounds amazing. Cause I sure like happy endings. <laughs> What's the best way for me to get out to where I'm going? I'm still not 100% familiar with everywhere in this town. I'm trying to think of the best way to get where I need to be. Because my phone's recording me and I can't look up the map. <laughs> anyway, I don't need to look up the damn map while I'm driving. Oh, a tip for you truckers out there, because, you know, we want to make sure everything's hands-free as possible. Okay, I don't turn here. I'm trying to think of where I need to turn it. Not here. I need to turn up here. Um... So, of course, as a truck driver, we want everything as hands-free as possible. But sometimes shit happens. Sometimes you are on the road and all of a sudden you got to change that destination on your map or you, you know, need something like that. So, what I want you to do is I want you to set it up where your phone, set up your Google thing or your uh iPhone thing. I just know because I always had Google to do it, so I know the way to do it that way. Set up your Google thing where it goes by talking. So you can set it up where you could say, this is an iPhone I'm on, so it shouldn't trigger anything. You could say like H-E-Y uh, and Google, you know? So I have mine where as soon as I say that, it pulls up and I can say you know, pull up maps and I can say change destination to such and such or search such and such road in this city or you can say you know pull up audible play such and such book I promise you it makes life so much easier because y'all know they're putting up those cameras where they can peek into our trucks and see what the hell we're doing and when we're doing it so you have to be so careful all the time um so if i were you i would do that i would set up your google i'm sure there's a way to do it with iphones i've never set up the iphone to do that um but set up the google where you can um is this somebody I know? No, okay. They were honking. Somebody was honking, and I have a girlfriend that drives that same kind of truck, so I was wondering if it was her. Um, so, set up your phone where you can do everything by audio, by talking to your phone, and it makes it where you won't have to touch it because we all know I've been there. 
we've all been there where all of a sudden you need to have something pull up on your phone and you have to touch it um you know we don't want to touch it we want to be completely hands-free with everything but sometimes shit happens you know sometimes all of a sudden there's a wreck in front of you and you need to know can I turn down this road without there being a weight limit on a bridge or a low bridge or things like that there's shit we need to know and we need to know quickly and that will really really help you I promise so hopefully that's a good trucker tip for you because it sure helped me in a lot of situations in my life so many good trucker tips. I really need to sit down and make some more videos about trucking for y'all and talk to you about like basics to have in your bag when you first start trucking. Basics to have on your truck to live a healthy lifestyle, which we already talked about some of the cooking equipment, but I haven't even gotten into recipes yet. There's so much I want to talk to y'all about. And me having an assistant now is going to really, really help. I'm waiting to hear back from her on the exact date she's going to start. I'm hoping it might be next Monday, but we'll see because um, she put in a two-week notice already with the um, company she was working with, so I just got to be patient and see when she's going to get back with me. that we're at the light because I need to google something really quick because I need to find out the exact destination around here. I love you and I'll be back in a bit. Hello, hello darling. How's my favorite person? This is probably the last video of the day. It has been such a busy, busy day. My goodness gracious got a lot of stuff done today but that's good we like that busy day means making money means making progress making shit happen <laughs> and that's what we're all about around here i don't know about around you but around here we is all about making shit happen and making some damn money and having a good time doing it <laughs> at least that's what i like doing yeah, it's been a busy, busy day. Um, I got my assistant hired. I got a confirmation email back from her saying, yes, she's very excited, all that. I told y'all earlier that I start doing negative self-talk and thinking, oh, no, maybe she doesn't want the job. I don't know what is wrong with me why I do those things, but I do. Do y'all do ne negative self-talk too? Like, when maybe one little thing doesn't seem right, you start thinking all these things that are wrong with you and why someone wouldn't want to do things with you or for you or, you know, things like that. I don't know what's wrong with me when I do that. But the positive self-talk, like, the positive, I have fuzz on me. I swear it's because of wearing that vintage fur coat, you know. Um, it loses a little bit of its fur. <laughs> but if you try the positive self-talk, I swear it helps so much. Just telling yourself, I'm worthy, I'm lovable, I'm a good person. It feels so weird doing it. You feel so corny. But it works really good. <laughs> so you should give it a try. Take the earbud out since I'm not listening to anything right now. When I'm not filming and talking with you, a lot of times I'll either have my phone connected to my Bluetooth in the car or I have it uh, connected to my earbuds. Now, a lot of times when I'm jumping in and out of the car, I'll just keep it connected to my earbuds because it's like... It's not even worth the trouble to connect it to the Bluetooth on my car, then have to connect it back to the earbuds as soon as I get out. It's kind of annoying, so I just keep it connected to my phone, or to my earbuds. Because, <laughs> um, 
you know, I don't live in a huge city. It's, it's a populated enough city, but it's not huge. So, um, oh goodness, I'm probably just trying to get over. So, you know, when I'm going somewhere, it's probably about five minutes I'm going to be in the car. <laughs> five or ten max. You know, now if I feel like listening to some good music, nice and loud, then yeah, I'll definitely um, connect it to my my um, Bluetooth stuff. But a lot of time I'm listening to like podcasts or books, so I'll just keep it in my ear. Just means I don't have to get interrupted when I stop. <laughs> but lately, I've been talking to you instead of listening to things, and that's a good. That's a good thing, because I like talking to you. I'm trying to fix the little clasp on my my bracelet there. I ran by the grocery, and I picked up a rotisserie chicken just because I'm lazy and don't feel like cooking anything tonight. And oh my God, it smells so good. I am so hungry. I just want to break a leg off right now and eat it. And the only reason I am not is because I've just got my car cleaned and like all the stuff I usually have in my car is now in my trunk out of the way so I always have this kit of stuff in my car like I have baby wipes hand sanitizer paper towels um, all those things that I don't know about you but that I always need I have in my car and if I had those in here right behind the seat like usual you better bet I would put some hand sanitizer on my hands and I'd have a paper towel and a baby wipe right here and I'd be eating on that damn chicken leg because <laughs> I'm so hungry <laughs> but I'm gonna um, use the rotisserie chicken and make some good dinner now I don't know if I feel like making anything else to go with it I might just eat the damn chicken tonight because <laughs> I'm tired and just really hungry but a lot of times if I don't feel like cooking a meat because y'all know meat takes a bit more to prepare and cook I'll get like the rotisserie chicken and man you can put it on anything you can just eat the chicken you can uh, stir fry up some veggies to go with it I like uh, veggies fried in like a saucepan not fried like you have hot grease and you put them in there but like fresh veggies, you uh, put a little olive oil in there, you put the veggies, you put some spices, and you just saute them up. Um, so I like doing a lot of veggies like that. I mean, about any veggie I could think of, you can do like that. So I'll do that, or um, sometimes I'll do microwave and frozen veggies. I just don't like how soggy frozen veggies are a lot of times. Uh, I can deal with some microwave broccoli sometimes, but I, honestly, even that is pretty dang soggy. Frozen corn is amazing, though. Frozen veggies are great to go in soups. If you have, like, a wet dish for things to go in, like a casserole, a soup, frozen veggies are phenomenal for that. But to eat fresh, like, by the, or not fresh, but just, right, cooked and by themselves, man, it's just too soggy. I told y'all, I gotta love what I eat or I am not gonna eat it. I just, I'm not a picky eater, but I'm not gonna eat things I don't like. Uh-uh. <laughs> it's too easy in this fucking world to get shit you like, you know? I have decided I'm not doing DoorDash anymore, though. DoorDash, Grubhub, all that. It's ridiculous how expensive it is. And I swear, every time I order it, by the time it gets to me, it's cold, it's like soggy, it's just not good. So, I pay freaking $50 for a meal after tip and delivery and all that, and it's just gross by the time it gets there. So, I've decided no more DoorDash, Grubhub, none of it. I'm not doing it anymore. If I want restaurant food, I'm going to take my happy ass out and go to the restaurant. I don't care if I go by myself. I don't care if I go with people. But I'm going to go out to the restaurant because it's just, it's not worth it. It is completely not worth it to me. Last time I got it, it was just so bad. It really made me mad because I had ordered it for me and a friend of mine. 
and we ordered it was like a hundred dollars worth of food once you added on tip you had the tax and delivery fee you know you know how it how, they all all the apps have all those fees and I like tipping people well you know if it's a hundred dollar meal I'm gonna tip you 25 I, I like probably about I at least do 15 but usually I do like 20 percent um but like I'd ordered a pizza and it was like soggy on the bottom. I'd ordered a bunch of stuff, but one of the things I'd ordered from this place was like a little personal pizza. And it was seriously soggy on the bottom. And it was like, um, oh man, we ordered something else. We ordered a bunch of stuff to split. And we ordered something else and it was just like cold and gross. And it's probably not the restaurant's fault, okay? The restaurant, obviously the pizza got put in there super hot because it was put in this uh, paper box and it was so hot that steam and all the goodies, the juices from the veggies and tomato sauce and all that stuff seeped down and made the bottom part soaking wet. So I'm sure the restaurant does great, but by the time it gets to you, it's just gross. And I am not paying that much money that I work my tail off for to have it just be gross it's not worth it so you got to find things in life like that that just aren't worth it to you if you don't you know especially when it comes to food because the food is what shows on your body <laughs> people can be addicts to a lot of things and the proof is not shown on their body but if you are a food addict like I used to be, and like a lot of people are in life, the proof is right there in the pudding, and the pudding is what your thighs look like. <laughs> it's right there on your body. You get that, well, you get to look like I used to, you know? And I'm not saying I was ugly, okay? I love my body, whether I'm 200 pounds or 120 pounds. I love my body. It makes it where I can live a good life. It makes it where I can get around, but I also want to feel sexy. I want to look in the mirror and say, damn, look at that tight ass, <laughs> you know? I want to feel happy with myself. I deserve to feel happy with myself. So, if that takes me not having grub up because it's not worth it to have those extra calories, if those, whoa, I need to slow my ass down, if those extra calories ain't tasty enough, then that's what I'm going to do. Because you better bet if I'm going to eat them extra calories, they better taste damn good. <laughs> oh, Lord. My belly is itching like crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't there Ain't no mosquitoes out, so I don't know why the hell it'd be itching so much, but it sure is. <laughs> right here is like slower, faster, slower, faster. I've got that song in my head from TikTok. You and me always forever. <laughs> Your girl's not a good singer. <laughs> behind me. I still don't like it riding in the left hand lane. It's a trucker thing. You don't ever want to be that trucker that's riding in the left hand lane and gets passed on the right. That's some shame right there. That's some mm, shame when that happens to you. <laughs> or if you don't feel shame from it, you're weird. <laughs>
with that one guy though he you probably saw somebody come around me like come they were passing by me in the left hand lane and then they get in front of me and put on their brakes because for some reason they needed to get over in that lane even though they didn't get off at the next exit or anything they needed to get in that lane but they couldn't have just got behind me that's something I don't understand. It's like, so you, you still got to get over and you still got to slow down to the speed I'm going at because there's somebody in front of me just like, there's going to be somebody in front of you. So why couldn't you just get behind me? It don't make no damn sense. <laughs> don't make no sense. So then I had to get over and get around him. <laughs> Driving's weird as hell. It really brings out the things about per people's personality. It does. It tells you how good of a communicator they are because if they want to use their blinkers, if they want to do stuff like that, it tells you how much of a temper they have. If they can easily get pissed off just because somebody is in front of them wanting to go slower than they want to go, it tells you how much they value their life if they're willing to do the crazy stuff I see some people do. Um, it tells you so much about people. I could see the way somebody drives and I could tell you a lot about them. I could tell you how happy they are with their life. I could tell you um, if they're having relationship troubles. I could tell you all kinds of things about them. Because you can tell a lot by the way somebody handles equipment. When someone gets a little bit of power, which is a vehicle. Vehicles are power. You have a metal box and the ability to slam into things. You have protection. A vehicle is power. And when someone gets a little bit of power, you'll see how they act with it. Do they continue to act like themselves? Kind, generous, humble, or do all of a sudden they need to prove themselves a lot? It's crazy. I can tell you all kinds of shit when it comes to that. <laughs> no, granted, these are all just my theories, but you know, <laughs> you know what they say about opinions. <laughs> Uh, I gotta walk my happy ass into the house twice because I got a lot of stuff because I had to go to the grocery and grab a bunch of stuff. Oh, darn it, I forgot dog food. Well, at least I got enough for her at the house right now. Shucks my gucks. Forgot dog food. I think I'm gonna just park right there. No, no, I'm not, because i got to get on both sides. Shucks. That's a good parking spot if I'm just getting out on one side. But if i got to get on both, it's not. It's a tight one. Just like my kid can. Alright, sweet pea. I'm going to get in here. I am so hungry. I'm delirious and I'm ready to relax. I'm ready to get out my business clothes and get on my comfy sweats and chill. I love you. I hope you had a great day today and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Yeah, I have training tomorrow, so I'll do another video tomorrow.